and welcome to the Day 5 Video News Blog of the Mac Mania 5 Geek Cruise. I'm Janet Butler with Media Support Group. This morning we arrived in Santa Tomas, Guatemala, and today's shore excursion will take us to Carigua, one of the Mayan ruins. We will also talk to Mac Mania presenters Andy Anatko and Sal Segoyan. But first, we're going to talk to Mike Horn, the environmental officer aboard the Bean Dam. Protecting the environment doesn't just apply to land, it applies to our oceans as well. And we are pleased to discover that Holland America is leading the way in protecting our oceans and waterways. Did concern for the environment become an issue with the cruise industry? Approximately five years ago. Five years ago that uh, the US government asked the shipping companies where is all the garbage and what, are you, and what are you discharging at sea? And nobody could give an answer. So now we've decided we need an environmental officer to find out what's going on. Where do you get the ship's drinking water? The, drink, the drinking water we make ourselves uh, it's, it's processed through two evaporators. What happens is we boil water uh, under a vacuum and it boils at a lower temperature and then we the condensate we pump off which is fresh water and the brine is back as we, which will go back into the ocean. How are black water and grey water safely disposed of? The black water is sewage water from all from your toilets and from the medical department because that's going to be a separate item. Grey water is from the sinks and your bath. Now on the Veen Dam we have a system called Xenon which all the black water and grey water goes through that system and then it comes out as fresh water. Well thanks Mike. It sounds like Holland America has a real commitment to being green. We like to think that we are at the top. We are now going to talk to one of the Mac Mania presenters, Andy Anatko, author and columnist for the Chicago Sun-Times. One of the seminars you're giving this week is 10 things that every Mac user should try before they die. What are a couple of your favorites? Well, there's some short things, there's some long things because, let's be frank, we could all die tomorrow. I didn't want to make that unpleasantness, but you know, and there's some things that were, could take us 30 or 40 years to master. Sharing, that's a big section of this talk, that uh, you can share so many different services, so many different devices you have on your Macintosh. People are, are familiar with the idea of taking your internal hard drive or folder and sharing it on the network, but not many people know that any USB printer you've got plugged into your Macintosh, you can share with any other Macintosh on the network, that you simply go into the sharing tab of user pref of system preferences, click on print, you know, printer sharing, and then magically, just that's pretty much all you have to do, every other Macintosh on the network suddenly sees your printer on the network. As long as your Macintosh is up and running, 100 computers on your network can then use your Epson uh, photo printer. My favorite though is internet sharing. You can simply say take whatever internet connection I've got coming through Ethernet and share it via airport. So now if you've got your friends sitting in the, in the uh, using the room next door, they can simply use your computer as an airport base station and basically get free internet access off of your 20 or 30 bucks. Am I babbling? Am I ranting? I hope so. My ranting gets raves. Don't look too closely into the lens, folks. I have powers. I try to keep them in check. That's why I must be in international waters. And now let's go ashore. Guatemala offers unparalleled opportunities to enjoy nature. It's many rivers, it's 33 volcanoes, volcanic sand beaches, caves that extend several kilometers below the earth, and lush tropical jungles which hide the lost world of the Mayans. Mayan ruins in Guatemala are a living testimony to a culture that once flourished between 700 BC and 900 AD. We have chosen to visit Carigua, one of the smaller Mayan cities. But don't let size fool you. Carigua includes the largest block of stone ever carved by the Mayans. The site also includes 11 other large stelae. And four rocks carved in the form of mythological animals. Uh, 
the deciphered hieroglyphs from the stele and the altars, tell a fascinating story of Carigua's relationship with the nearby city of Copan. Farther down the path, we discovered a temple which faced the royal living quarters across a large courtyard. Remembering the very steep steps coming into the temple grounds, Leo said that he had found a shortcut out. Help me. Help me. Maybe not. Well, we're back on the ship. And now we're going to interview Sal Segoyan, the Automation Product Manager for Apple. How did you first get interested in automation? I started at a print service bureau in, in Charlottesville, Virginia, and naturally in a print service bureau you're going to be doing the same thing over and over. Files come in, you have to check the file to make sure all the parts are there. You have to make sure that the images are set a certain way. Uh, there's lots of things that you have to go through in order to produce the output for your clients. So I was always looking for ways to automate that. You're also very involved in Automator mm -hmm. itself. Can you tell us a little about that? Well, Automator is a, a fairly recent uh, invention. Um, and it came out of the idea of we wanted to make it even easier for motivated Macintosh users to automate what they do. And we thought, well, is there a way that we can take the functionality of what AppleScript does and break it down into bite-sized nuggets that somebody could just put together like building blocks and then say, this is the recipe that I want to do. I want to cut the carrots, I want to cut the celery, cut the onions, mix it together in a mirepoix, add beef broth, you know, and then, you know, just create this recipe and then go do it. Most people think that it's just AppleScript because that's what Apple is used for automation. But actually, all of the automator's actions or the little components that make up a workflow are written in Xcode. So developers can create these actions in any kind of uh, coding format that they want. We've had lots of success stories with people using automator and getting the concept of, I'm creating a recipe. So Automator is very exciting. It's been very successful. There's a lot of websites like Automator.us, Automator World, AutomatorActions.com. There's a lot of different uh, discussion groups and there's thousands of, of free third-party actions uh, like Ben Long's collection for Photoshop CS2. He has over 83 actions for that that can control just about everything that Photoshop does. I think Automator really fills a great niche and we're very excited about moving it forward and co continuing to advance its abilities. We're now leaving the dock to sail for Costa Maya. You may hear some horns in the background. While coffee is the mainstay of the economy, tourism is the second largest source of revenue in Santa Tomas. And when a cruise ship leaves, all the taxis line up on the shore and honk their horns and flash their lights to show their gratitude for our visit. That is such a nice idea. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for a shore excursion at Costa Maya, Mexico. We will also join in a walk for the cure that is held on every Holland America cruise. Till then, this is Janet Butler saying happy sailing. See you tomorrow.